Hey guys, it's Nicole here from Ford Know How, and today I'm going to show you the differences between the all new next generation Raptor and the next generation Wildtrak. So starting from the back, you do get recovery hooks in the back of your Raptor that you won't get if you go to the Wildtrak. So on the back, you will notice the stickers. That's the decal pack that you can get from factory on the Raptor. You are missing the four wheel drive badge on this side of your tailgate, but you do get the blacked out badging kit on the Ford logo, which is really nice and fits in with the rest of the blacked out features on the Raptor. You don't get those ones on your wild track. You do also have a twin exhaust with the Raptor. In the next gen Ranger lineup, you do get the box step on the back of the tub. The Raptor is missing this one on its tub, but you do get a spray in bed liner and a ruler on the tub as well. On the Raptor, you don't get anything from factory to cover the tub. There's no sports bar, there's no sales plane, there's no roller shutter that you do get on the wild track. You'll get that integrated roller shutter. There are no factory options to fit that one on. You would have to look aftermarket to get anything to cover the tub. So here on the Raptor, you do get the 17 inch all-terrain tires and you do get a built-in flare as well. These are things you would have to option into your wild track if that's what you'd like to have. On both of the cars, you do get privacy glass in the back windows. On the Raptor, you have a really nice branded side step. That's also the same material as the spray in bed liner or a very similar material. On the Raptor, you do get the Matrix LED headlights as a standard. There's something you would have to option into the premium pack on the Wild Track. That's something you can do from factory. You do also get the Ford branded grill, where in the Wild Track you have the Ford logo. With the two different grills, the camera sits at the top of the Raptor grill here, where the Wild Track camera sits just below that Ford logo in its front grill. Both cars do have two front recovery hooks in the bumper. In the Raptor, you only have one option for engine. It is a V6 petrol engine, which gives up 292 kilowatts of power. In the Wild Track, you do have two options in the engines. You have a two liter bi-turbo, which gives out 154 kilowatts of power, or a three liter V6, which gives out 184 kilowatts. Underneath the hood in the Raptor, there is no room for a secondary battery. You'd have to put that into the tub or the tray. On the bonnet of the Raptor, you do have two functional air vents. You don't get those ones in the Wild Track and you can't option them in. Heading into the interior, you do have a Sedona orange accent through the whole car, and you've also got bucket seats. The bucket seats also have Raptor branding in that Sedona orange color. The, the Wild Track has its own branding, the Wild Track stitching, and that will be in the Lux yellow color. The Wild Track also does feature Lux yellow accents through the whole interior. Looking at your instrument cluster, you do have a 12 inch digital cluster behind the steering wheel, where in the Wild Track, you do get an eight inch digital cluster. The Raptor also loses two of the modes, the eco mode and the towing mode. The Raptor does come with the sports mode and the Baja mode, which don't come in any of the other ranges. In both the Wild Track and the Raptor, you have a telescoping steering wheel, but the Raptor does come with the paddle shifters behind it. In the Raptor as well, you do have passenger and front 10 way power seats, where in the Wild Track, it's an eight way power in the passenger and the front. On the steering wheel as well, you'll notice that it's blacked out in the Raptor, where in the Wild Track it's a chrome finish. It does also have the Raptor branding on it, where the Wild Track doesn't have any branding on it, other than the Ford logo, which is on the middle. Looking down at the doors, you do also have Ford Performance scuff plates on the Raptor that you don't get on the Wild Track. In the Raptor as a standard, you do get auxiliary switches in the cabin as well. There's something that you have to option into the Wild Track that's called the Premium Pack. That's a factory option. It does also include the B&O sound system in the interior of that Raptor in the Wild Track that also comes in the premium pack. If you'd like to know more about what happens underneath of the Raptor, check out our video, which will just come up at the top now. Costa does a full tour of the underneath of the Raptor. If you have any questions, if you wanna know more about the range or you want a video specifically on something, please leave the comment below. We do read all of our comments. No, I won't be linking my Instagram in this video, but if you would like to see more of me, don't forget to like and subscribe.